Hello friends and welcome to this special reading. So today I'm bringing you a spontaneous reading. This is for anyone who feels called to click on this video. You will know right away if this message is for you. So no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you're celebrating, if you're not celebrating this week, I'm sending all my love, my best wishes, and remember you're not alone, okay? I know that this period of the year, whatever you believe in, whatever you celebrate, there's sometimes a feeling of loneliness. And even when we're surrounded, even some sometimes we have these feelings. And I definitely had a calling to say, you're not alone. And I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for changing my life in 2021. And again, sending my best wishes, whoever you are and whatever you're celebrating or not celebrating. Okay, so let's see what wants to come out today. I just got out of a long meditation and I wasn't supposed to do a reading today, but I had it a calling to do so, so someone needs to hear this. We have the hanged man and the high priestess. So you could be a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or the Piscean energy could be something important for you. Maybe you have water in your chart. So that's not the point here. With the high priestess and the hangman, it could definitely be connecting to this message of you are not alone. We all experience loneliness, okay? So right now, you might be feeling like you're in the hangman situation, like everything is on pause, like you don't really know what's going to be happening. Um, maybe with your finance, with your relationship, with your health. With the high priestess, there's a calling to just be right now to be able to not focus on what tomorrow will bring you okay so thank you for being here um i see it a lot in my readings the tarot is a self-care tool my personal favorite tool for self-care because when we're focused on a reading if we're doing it for ourselves watching it on youtube it is a moment that we are in the present we're actually able to just be. And that's what the high priestess is for me. And also the hangman. Do what makes you feel good mentally, spiritually, physically. It's different for everybody. As long as you listen to what feels good right now. So I do feel that there is someone who feels maybe bad for wanting to be alone. Um, wanting to spend time on their own. You don't want to owe anything to anyone. There's this feeling of, I'm a little bit conflicted. As much as I need to be alone, I feel lonely sometimes, but you are not alone. Again, this message is really strong for that reading. Um, let's take the tarot, my love. Let's start, and I want to see what messages you need to hear and how the next couple days even weeks are going to be looking for you. Okay, so beautiful beginning with the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, of course, uh, number one, which is really important. We're starting something fresh. There is a change of perspective that is happening. The Ace of Swords and the Hangman, to me, are a beautiful duo. Because it is about how we are changing the way we think about something but also having the ability to pause, okay? And not feel bad about it. Because we're always, we're always planning the next thing, especially at the end of the year. We're always, you know, not always, but most of us are trying to create our resolution for the year, looking back on the things that we maybe regret. Um, Put that away just for a second, just for today, just for a couple hours and not trying to focus on 
how can I improve myself? How can I do better this year? What you did is good enough. You are good enough. That's really important. So with the Ace of Swords, we're able to put the feelings of the brain, the messages of the brain and the ego aside for a moment. And we're like, checking in like what feels good for me right now who do i want to communicate with who am i not available to communicate with um and there's definitely someone who is in their head a lot about the fact that maybe they didn't accomplish the things they wanted to accomplish this year but it's not a failure because when you're going to be looking back you're going to realize how much you accomplished. And it might not be in the physical world. It might not be something you can touch or you can count. But you definitely evolved and changed a lot more than you can see right now. So I think that's why the High Priestess and the Hangman is here. It's not clear right now how much you changed and evolved. So you could be having regrets. You can be caught into a state of mind of shit. It's already the new year and there's so many things I feel like I haven't healed. I haven't accomplished. But trust me, there's a lot of things. Yeah. There's an inner conflict. A moment of uncomfort within yourself. Being like... You're to being too hard on yourself, literally. With the five of wands, it's uncomfortable, but we have to go through the medicine of this card to get to the six of wands, which is victory, you know, celebrating ourselves. So the five of wands is here to confirm everything I was saying. Try to celebrate yourself instead of putting yourself down, instead of letting your ego and your brain be like, see, you're in the same place that you were last year. You're still thinking about this person. You're still not talking to this other person. You're still doing this and that. Give yourself a break, okay? Um, again, you accomplished a lot more. And with the Ace of Swords as first energy, I do feel like some of you should be journaling tonight or right after this reading. Um, if at the end of the reading, you're like, I definitely connected to, to what she said, um, write down what are the feelings that are coming in. Don't let anything aside. Write the good, the bad, the ugly. And if it feels comfortable for you, Burn that shit after. Writing and burning, especially right now at the end of the year, is something that we should all do. It's one of the most powerful ritual. Okay, okay. So we have the Hierophant, the Devil, and, and the Star. Uh, a confirmation that what I said is definitely needed for some of you. Writing and burning. So the Hierophant is the throat chakra, is Taurus energy. How do we express herself? How are we able to see that what we say, what we do has an impact on other people? And also it's 2021. We're saying goodbye to this year and we're going into a period of healing with Aquarius energy, the star card. I think that the devil is here because... I think, again, you're going into that state of mind of, oh, shit. Um, there's a lot of things I wish I dealt with in 2021. And you know what? I wasn't available to do so. I was focused on other things. The devil card, and if you know me a little bit, you know it's one of my favorite energy. There is nothing evil about this card. This is Capricorn energy, so Earth energy. What feels good for you right now in the present moment? How can you practice self-care? What does it mean for you to have pleasure, to indulge in pleasure without hurting yourself or hurting people around you? You know? So devil energy is 
you are allowed to feel pleasure. You are allowed to experience things and you are not a bad person because you're still thinking about this past person. You're still doing this and that. Again, how can you center yourself today, right now, in this moment, watching this reading and giving yourself a freaking break for being human, for wanting things sometimes that are not good for you and not feeling bad about it. Um, it's a beautiful card of balance also. How can you let yourself mess up sometimes? Learn from that, get back up again, fuck up again, and learn again and do better each time. Okay? Um, I'm hearing lesson learned. Wow. So, I don't know if you're a Capricorn. I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn or if you have Capricorn in your chart. But Capricorn energy to me is incredibly nurturing. How can you nurture yourself? What does it mean for you? How can you practice self-care without feeling bad, without feeling selfish? Um, again, the pleasure, you know, remembering that pleasure desires, it's a birth, right? It doesn't make you a bad person. I do feel like a lot of you are learning that this year. You're learning to put yourself first and not feeling bad about it. It still feels really uncomfortable sometimes, but it's going to be getting easier and easier. Um, you're doing great. You're doing great. And that is all part of your healing journey. And that's why the star is here. The star is the deepest healing card in the tarot, of course. Um, and when I see the star, it's so personal. It's Aquarius energy. It's not something that people can necessarily see. It's within you. It's personal. It's hidden. Um, you know you changed. Your journey doesn't need to look like other people's journey. It doesn't need to look a certain way. It is yours. And it's good enough. No matter where you are right now in your journey, I can assure you is good enough. And maybe you don't believe it right now. You know? But here, look at that. A lot of major arcana, my love. So with the magician confirming what I was saying, you are good enough. And that could definitely be the kind of thing that you're going to repeat to yourself this year. I don't care if you think it's cheesy, if you think it's boo-boo, definitely uh, remembering that you have everything you need and everything else will just be adding to this beautiful, um, this beautiful thing, this beautiful energy that you are. With the magician, of course, there's this new beginning since it's a number one. Um, so I do feel like you're going to be letting a lot of bullshit behind, okay? The magician also, the infinite symbol, which is really important in the tarot, your connection with the divine. How are you connecting with your beliefs, whatever your beliefs are? How are you connecting with the magic of the world, uh, being aware of all the little signs, all the little like synchronicities around you, knowing for a fact that you're protected, knowing for a fact that you deserve to be happy and you deserve to start this new year with a clear mind, knowing that you have everything you need. And again, everything else will be just added on top of you. And you're already good enough, okay? Um, hmm, I like that. And I don't know if you can notice how these three cards are positioned the same way. As above, so below, you know? I really like that. Uh, I do feel like this is a definitely a sign that you are protected. You've been feeling it. Maybe recently you've been praying a lot. You've been manifesting a lot and trying to, again, journal, I think is, 
I'm, I feel I'm connecting to someone who has been journaling a lot, who wants to start journaling in 2022. Um, and maybe you started in the beginning of 2021 and you didn't continue this, you know, the routine of writing down. You didn't mess up. You didn't let yourself down. At least you tried. And that's really important. There's definitely an important message coming in for me that... Even if it wasn't perfect, and take this how it resonates, because it could be about a relationship, it could be about a breakup, you being in a separation with someone you love, uh, not being content at work. There is something that is really heavy on your mind right now, and you did enough. This is definitely something important, and I know someone needed to hear that. And it's hard to truly believe it. And that's why I felt by seeing the magician, there was this feeling of repeat that shit to yourself. I am enough. I am good enough. And I am not alone. Even if I feel alone, I am not alone. You're protected. You have your guides, your angels around you, definitely. So yeah, page of cups flew out of the deck. The Page of Cups is the connection with the inner child. It's our ability to play, let herself, ourselves, sorry, have fun. I love the Page of Cups. Definitely one of my favorite energy in the tarot. So with the page, there is this childlike attitude. And that's why the, the page is talking to a fish. You know, when we're a kid and we are comfortable talking to animals, talking out loud and doing these crazy things um, that are simply beautiful. It's because our ego is not in the way when we're kids. We don't care. We, we, the, the ego is not here. We don't care if people see us talking to, um, you know, the freaking clouds, <laughs> an animal talking to ourselves. And there's this calling again of letting yourself have fun, letting yourself indulge in the pleasures of life. What makes you feel good? What makes you happy? What practice do you have that makes you connect with your inner child, you know, feels comfortable? And I really like that. I love seeing the Page of Cups. Also, um, I can't deny that when I see the Page of Cups, I always get this feeling of reconciliation with someone that you still have in your heart space, even if maybe you've been separating from them, separated, sorry, from them. Someone could be reaching out. You could get um, an email, a message from maybe a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign, it could also be an earth sign or someone with strong water, earth in their chart. With the king of pentacles, there's something that is called to get outside of you. What is it? Is it writing? Do you have a specific project, a specific thing that is own, that is particular to you, that you feel in 2022 you want to bring out of yourself? Are you an artist? Do you write? Do you create? Um, have you been contemplating the idea of going back to school, asking for a raise, looking to maybe buy a house, looking to improve something about your body, your mental health, anything that you've been contemplating of doing? Something that is really personal to you, and that's why the Page of Cups is here. It's something that you always wanted to do. Um, maybe you didn't have the courage to do it. Maybe the timing just wasn't right. There's going to be something happening. You could be getting a phone call. You could be getting kind of a sign. Uh, repetitive numbers. 11-11, uh, definitely. Could be something that you notice. Um and with the King of Pentacles, you're going to be called to bring something out of yourself. And it's definitely going to impact people. And that's why the Hierophant is here. I told you the Hierophant is the influence. How are we helping other people by just being ourselves? By just 
and I say just, but it's not easy to be our true authentic self all the time. It's not easy to share with the world the things that we want to share. But I think the timing is right now for you. A lot of powerful cards are coming out. A lot of powerful cards. King of Pentacles. I like that. I really like that. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. So again, how can you cut yourself some freaking slack? You know? How can you ask for help and not feel ashamed to do so? Who can you reach out to? Who is the person that you've been wanting to talk to, wanting to share with? And also, what are the things that you want to bring out into the world? Because it's going to be happening this year. So you could start by journaling about it you could start manifesting it i do feel like for a lot of you you've been manifesting that for a while i'm gonna take another deck now but with the six of pentacles to me of course six is a karmic number we're getting back the things that we've been putting into the universe you've been doing your best and you're gonna see this year that good things are coming your way and proving to you that you've done your best that what you did was good enough. But I do feel like the Six of Pentacles is a calling to ask for help if you need it. Or a calling to tell someone that you're comfortable with your projects, your dreams, your goals for this next year. You know? What are the things that you want to accomplish? What are the things that in the past you wouldn't even let yourself dream about it? You wouldn't leave, even let yourself fantasize about this because you felt it was too good to be true. It's not too good to be true. Definitely not. You know, you can accomplish any freaking thing you want. But I feel like the first step is definitely to tell someone and not feel bad. Not feel like it's too good, it's too crazy, it's too big. Actually believing that, yeah, I'm going to do this shit. I'm going to do this. No matter what happens, I'm doing it. And I'm starting now by opening my throat chakra and telling the world, what is this thing that I want to do? Sometimes we have this, um, and it's not necessarily a bad habit, but sometimes I feel as humans, we're like, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to tell anyone because if it, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to feel bad. Um, say that shit. Say it. Who cares? You don't owe anything to anyone but yourself. So I do feel like there is definitely a calling of expressing this thing that you've been wanting to accomplish. But... You know, the timing wasn't right and it's been really difficult. Maybe you tried and failed. And it could be about anything, my love. Again, it doesn't have to be um, this huge goal that, you know, uh, is just completely um, feels out of reach for now. It could be something really simple. It could be whatever the fuck you want it to be. It's personal, though. It's something that I feel you've been keeping secret, again, because you don't want to jinx it. You don't want to disappoint yourself. You prefer not talking about it than feeling like you let yourself down or look a certain way to other people. Again, we don't care. We don't care. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> that was this medicine for the soul first part of this reading now with this second deck i want to look how is january gonna impact your year how is this year gonna start for you and what do we need to know what do we need to know for january for anyone who's still watching and is connecting to what i'm saying hmm it's so weird it's so weird. I had a vision of someone doing the dishes and just listening to my reading while they were doing the dishes. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. So the Hierophant is here. So definitely the Hierophant is an important energy for you, my love. Okay. How are you going to use your throat chakra? How are you going to tell the world what you want to do? 
And I like that. I really like that. Also, it's important that you understand that this past year was so impactful. So impactful. And if right now you feel like, oh, I don't know, I feel like it was a really difficult year. I feel like there's so many things I, I wish I could change. Um, you're going to be looking back at 2021 in a couple of years and you're going to be like, oh shit. Oh shit, thank God I've been through this. Thank you, the universe, for putting me through this because I needed that. But with the Hierophant, I, I this could definitely be about a union. Yeah, this could definitely be about a union. Reconnecting with someone. Oh yeah, oh, okay. Someone is about to get vulnerable. Someone is definitely about to tell you how they feel. And I think you're going to reciprocate. I think that you're going to be opening up also to this person. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be about, you know, a family member, a friend. It's someone that you love a lot. Okay. Um, chariot is getting vulnerable to me. That's That's such a card of... Finally telling someone how you feel. Finally being able to let these intense feelings out of you. And with the Ten of Cups, it feels like you have the same goal with that person, which is being together, having this reunion with this person, this reconciliation, leaving the past behind and starting fresh. It could be a soulmate. Again, it's not always about love, but it could be. I like that. I really like that. You're going to be closing the door to an uncomfortable situation. Uh, finally. Finally reconnecting with someone. It could be out of the blue. It could definitely be out of the blue. And I feel like it could be happening in January on the first full moon. This is something I'm getting here. I'm not sure exactly when the first full moon is at the end of January, but look it up. Look it up. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the star. So double star, double hierophant. We're healing the way we talk to ourselves, the way we talk about other people, the way we judge ourselves, the way we judge other people, and we're taking it slow with our healing journey. So someone is definitely realizing that this healing journey, the spiritual journey is a lifelong thing. Uh, again, in the beginning, I said that someone was like, oh God, I felt like I healed this thing. I felt like I finally got over this. And I didn't. Um, healing is never, it's never done. And I think that you're realizing that. And I love seeing the start here two times because I know that not only this year you accomplish a lot, but in 2022, it's going to be like double the healing and changing and evolving. With the Knight of Pentacle, to me, there's something about how you treat your body. So maybe you've been thinking of, Hydrating yourself more, eating foods that make you feel good, uh, changing uh, your sleep schedule. There is something, and it's never in the extreme behavior because I don't believe in that. It's about listening to your body. How are you sleeping? How is your brain uh, reacting to certain food, to certain things? Um, maybe you want to read more books and journal and start painting and singing and doing this and that. Uh, what makes your body feels good? What is making you be in the present moment the best? Okay. And knowing also that nothing that is meant for you is going to pass you by. The magician and the knight of pentacle on top is like, you're already perfect. You already have way more than enough. Take your time and be really careful with who you let in, what you let in your body, in your life. Um, I'm hearing in your bed, <laughs> but this is not for everyone, but there's something of just being careful. 
taking your time to respond to a text, respond to someone, um, really checking in when you, before saying yes to someone, you know, you're allowed to take your time. Definitely an important message here. I like that. I am allowed to take my time. Life is not a race. Love is not a race. And definitely my healing journey is not a race. And my spiritual journey also. So there's going to be a lot of beauty this year in taking your time to do things. And that's why there's a lot of pentacles here. And that's why the devil, king of pentacles, all these pentacle cards are here. It's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. And it's not about doing things fast and uh, rushing yourself and pushing yourself to extremes. It's taking the time. Yeah, listen. Taking your sweet all time with the Four of Swords. What feels good? Do you have enough sleep? Do you drink enough water? Being aware of your dreams also, definitely. And that's why the High Priestess is here as first card. And the Four of Swords is here as last card. To me, there's something important about our dreams. Uh, you could be doing a journal, definitely. Again, I'm really, really positive that someone needs to journal. This is the practice that you should be um, trying this year. Let's pick a couple cards. Let's pick cards from the moon, my love. What messages do we need to hear right now to end this powerful, powerful year? Give me three. One. Two. And three. Conclusions are within reach, confirming that, yeah, I do feel like you will be reuniting with someone. You will finally get the answers you are looking for. Your commitment is being tested. I hate anyone or anything that is testing me. I freaking hate it. But you owe it to yourself to check in and give yourself the credit for the things that you accomplished this year not because you want to prove something to everybody not because you owe it to whoever because you owe it to yourself and have faith in your dreams what are the things that you've been wanting to accomplish that might seem too good to be true the things that you wouldn't let yourself dream about because it was too big, because you didn't want to disappoint yourself. There is nothing too big, babe. We're in about to be in 2022. Everything is possible. And it's not cuckoo or crazy to think so. It's actually a lot more rational to think that, to believe that you're able to do anything you want. You can create something big with nothing. You can start from zero. You don't need a lot of money. You don't need any money at all. You don't need shit to start this thing that you want to start because it starts within you. It starts with you expressing it, manifesting it. And I feel like it's definitely time you let yourself dream big because you deserve it. Okay? I love you so much. If you watch till the end, of course, always, I love you. I'm sending all my love, my best wishes, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you believe in, no matter what you celebrate or don't celebrate. I'm here for you, I love you, and I can't wait to talk with you guys again, okay? Bye, my love.